Hello my friends, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Welcome to the channel, especially all the new subscribers, love to have you. And it is absolutely a sparkling day here in Central Oregon. Beautiful blue skies with little puffy clouds, good temperatures, definitely cooler than it used to be. Uh, surviving the frost and all is good. So. Uh, interesting day very interesting day so i thought out of ignorance and not doing my own homework that the community i live in which is called cricket river ranch in oregon that i could not consider <coughs> other kinds of critters on our property turns out i was wrong so i went down to uh, our uh, administration office and I asked them if I could possibly have Idaho pasture pigs. And they said, yeah, <laughs> you can have anything you want pretty much. You just gotta be, you know, locate them in certain places in the property so you're not infringing on your uh, neighbors. And it's like, well, yeah, I don't wanna do that in the first place. So uh, turns out, thumbs up, I can do that. Why am I interested in Idaho pasture pigs? One is the permaculture. Two is I've got lots of land here that some of it we like to not have lawns. And we have a um, Idaho pasture pigs do, uh, do graze. And so I've got a section that it would be perfect for them. And uh, it would also allow us to raise our own pork. And it's kind of exciting and it is new for me never grown pigs before so it's a learning process altogether so oh my gosh this year is turning out to be for next year going to be interesting we'll be changing up how we're doing our hydroponics a little bit we'll be changing up how we uh, do our chickens a little bit uh, and uh, expanding the corn situation with a different kind of corn. And uh, yeah, it's all actually very exciting. Um, the inf funny thing about homesteading is you get married to your property. Well, so, you know, Sherry still works and uh, that's how we get our insurance and stuff. And I'm so grateful for that. But I'm here every day. So it's, uh, so having chores is a good thing keeps me busy uh, winter comes uh, the gardening will slow down a little bit but you know, animals will be the same and I have a couple other critters to maintain uh, will just keep me stimulated and keep me busy and uh, obviously it would be good for the channel too because we really want to teach more and learn more about permaculture and, it's, and we have a hell of a challenge here this is high desert so to develop the land, uh, it will take animals to do it if we rotate them properly. And we've got plenty of, you know, we have five acres. And uh, just what you see on camera is not all the acreage. We have acreage beyond the fences. And uh, we can utilize animals to develop the land in a positive way. And... Um, I think it'd be a good challenge. This is not the best soil. And so can a combination of uh, working with the soil, using our animals and pet, uh, not pets, but animals to help develop the property at the same time, fill our freezers. That'll be interesting. But uh, I just got out here. I do have uh, our friend, Marilyn, uh, uh, not oh, Sharon Malone coming over to get more corn stalks, which I'm tickled pink about uh, tomorrow. And uh, I thought I'd come out here. I got to check all my tanks, make sure everything's running properly, and uh, go from there. Well, I'm in a greenhouse now. Uh, it's definitely toasty warm in here. It's 80, 82 degrees. Turns out I'm being haunted a little bit by. Uh, aphids on my bok choy but I sprayed yesterday 
and uh, I think I've got it a little bit more under control. Uh, I sprayed these when they were young, but I didn't spray them later. And uh, those little aphids are aggressive little buggers. So I'm going to treat them one more time today, just to make sure my bok choy is protected. They don't seem to be interested in the lettuce. Um, so uh, anyway, that was kind of a surprising uh, issue. And uh, so I'm going to treat these guys real quick and then uh, check the rest of the systems. Boy, I can't get over what a beautiful day it is here today. Um, definitely see the signs of fall and that's okay. Um, I still got a little, little cantaloupe growing over here. Did not expect. It'll be interesting to see how well it does. <laughs> but uh, it's just over here. It's just a little guy. But uh, we might be able to get a little piece of cantaloupe. Um, peppers are still hanging in there. The cold snap didn't bother them. And uh, let's go check the strawberries. So the strawberries, oh my gosh, look at the size of this puppy. That's a beautiful strawberry. I may have to taste test that. There's a couple here. Uh, strawberries are still doing well. And uh, the colder temperatures doesn't seem to affect them. The water system just went off because I can see water dripping. So uh, they got their nutrients today. And uh, I better taste test some of these uh, strawberries, make sure they're okay. You know, it's my responsibility. Now, uh, getting back to the subject of the Idaho pasture pigs. Uh, this also means I got to pass it by the high command, my wife. And uh, that's a whole other story, but she might surprise me. Uh, checking our water, everything's looking good. Look at some beautiful strawberries over here. I got a giant one over here. Look at this. That's a big strawberry. Uh, anyway, because we have so much grass, we wouldn't mind reducing it for something positive. So, uh, kind of thinking this might be a good area to let go loose. And, uh, by the sounds of it, we probably wouldn't get our Idaho pasture pigs till February. Um, but this might be a good area to develop them. Now, I gotta be careful because I've got some water systems that I need to make sure is protected against the pigs. Um, but uh, this would be a good area to raise them. And I probably want to separate two sections because during breeding time, I want to separate uh, the boys from the girls when I need to. And uh, this would probably be a good area to do it. Yes, I've got property out there, but uh, uh, I want to make sure I, I give them uh, pasture to eat if we did that. So that would be another one to pass by the high command. Um, but this might be a good area and it meets the regulations that we have here that we have to be so many feet away from the side property line that we uh, meet all the conditions there, no problem. So uh, thinking out loud again. <clears throat> Now, uh, if I can't get this past the high command, then it's probably not a positive thing. But, uh, gosh, I didn't realize pretty much we could have any kind of livestock we want. If I was ever to get a cow, I would use the outer perimeters. Um, once again, we have no grass out there. But utilizing the critters and moving them around, we could possibly develop... The rest of the property with sustainable food for animals to eat um, using permaculture practices so we'll see um, that's a lot of work but uh, it would be a fun endeavor and I think you and I and Sherry would learn a lot uh, about growing our own food and uh, am I looking at cheaper food than the way I buy at the store? No. What I'm looking for is quality food and control of what I'm eating and uh, filling my freezers up so uh, we always have our bellies full and to be able to help our family if we needed to. So yeah, that's kind of uh, 
the latest uh, this Sunday we may actually take a trip out to the farm where they have these pigs to one learn a little observe get some ideas of what we can do in our property and uh, lock down our idea so it'd be kind of fun to take the trip we will take the camera we got permission um, it's Wilson's farm over in Boring Oregon and uh, which is over the mountains from us but we could use a day off and a nice road trip and uh, get you know learn a little bit more about Idaho pasture pigs meet some new people give them a little exposure and hopefully have a nice relationship uh, we talked to them already about possibly being on our podcast so uh, yeah that's a good thing so uh, that's the latest news here um, I think uh, I'm getting low on coffee so I may have to go into town and go buy a case of coffee uh, my timing I do what are you sneezing for um, what are you guys doing anyway uh, my timing on my subscription on coffee from Amazon I messed up so I'm running out of coffee that's not a pretty sight if we ran out of coffee so uh, anyway guys I'm gonna wrap up the video here It'll be a shorter video than normal which is good anyway uh, please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world we'd appreciate it and uh, all the new subscribers welcome aboard and you get a chance in the comments below say hello love to hear from you so guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later bye now our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks